Chad here with Purple Car Life. Just got done gassing and putting the bar oil in the chainsaw and I hit the chain one more time with the two-in-one sharpener. So we have to get that all cleaned up today so that when they get back they are pleasantly surprised to see that scary tree is cut down and taken care of. We're now on day three of cleaning up this tree. There's just the trunk left behind us, so it should go a lot quicker. Jennifer's here to help me today. I'll be able to just buck down the tree as we go. I got all the limbs cleaned up the other night. Since it's getting so hot in the sun today, we have the log splitter here in the shade. We'll be handling the wood a little further to get it here, but at least it lets us work in the shade. And you know how I feel about working in the heat. And if you don't, check the previous videos. That one piece of wood dropped in the end of my shoe. That's why I gave you a look. Yeah, it was off of the piece that was laying here, though. It wasn't off of what we split. The piece that was laying here was like one of the broken ones, and part of it just split off while it was laying there. 
I was gonna say it only hit the end of my, did hit my toe. So that'll do it for today. It's a hot one out here. We still have a good stack to split, but we're actually going to head up to camp and visit mom and dad while they're camping. We'll have to keep this secret though and not let them know what we've been working on the last few days. So we've got a pretty good stack here. We've got a little bit left to do, but I'll show you an after picture when we're all done. If you like videos like this, go ahead and click that subscribe button, like, and comment below. This was a fun project to do something that mom and dad wanted done and we're going to pay some money for and I thought that we could do it if we if we did it while they weren't around to see the nervousness of it. I'm glad we took care of this problem and got some firewood for them in the process. The old John Deere 750 has a lot of power. So this should be the last day of working on this tree. We only have one more day before mom and dad get home from their camping trip. So I'm gonna try to get this all cleaned up tonight. Making pretty good progress. Just a couple more handfuls and we'll be good. It is starting to get dark though. It's almost eight o'clock here. So I'm gonna try to get as much of this done as I can, but I don't know that I'll get it all done tonight. I might have to come down one more night. Just a little story about this log splitter though. Before we had this log splitter, before mom and dad had this log splitter, they had one from Montgomery Ward. And I don't know if any of you remember the store Montgomery Ward. It was kind of like a Sears. And we had one about an hour away from us. And I remember being maybe 12 or 13. We went to Montgomery Ward and got the new log splitter at the time. It was a very short one. Just had small, probably four inch diameter wheels on the back. And it the front end of it actually sat on the ground when you were splitting so the entire time you're splitting the log splitter cylinder is probably only about six inches off the ground so you're always working crouched down or sitting down and that little log splitter split a lot of wood but it wasn't nearly as easy to use as this one this one has a lot more power and working kind of at waist level is a lot easier than working down so low so just that little story if anybody remembers the montgomery ward stores i think we bought a uh, microwave and a log splitter there and then I don't know if they had like lawn and garden furniture or other things but I, specific I specifically remember getting the log splitter there. So comment below if you remember Montgomery Ward. Almost done, just a little bit more cleanup to do. One big chunk and some other chunks that the log splitter ran out of gas and we didn't quite get finished up so it's getting pretty dark. I'll come down tomorrow night and finish up the last of it. It is my last night to try to get some work done here. Just a couple piles to take care of here to get the field cleaned up. One big chunk to split. A couple that I had started splitting when the log splitter ran out of gas yesterday. We've got a pretty good pile here. These ones we'll let sit a little bit, make sure all the ants get out of them before we split them any further and move them up to the building. But while we're here, I wanted to take a quick glance at the moisture level in these logs so I brought the moisture meter down I'm at the stack of wood here we'll take a look first at what we split yesterday it's probably the most wet it's showing us high 22.4 about the wood that we split a few days ago 21 and the very first wood that we split from the tree when it was down, 19. So it's still way too wet to burn this winter in the fire, but it'll dry out through the winter and then it should be good for next year. Or if it gets, if we get a windy fall and a lot of wind blows across this front field, 
it may dry out fast enough to use some this winter. So we'll keep an eye on it. Just a reminder for those of you who haven't already, we'd really appreciate it if you would click that subscribe button. We love making these videos and hope that you guys like them too. And one way to show us that you like them is by subscribing, clicking the like button, and commenting. That helps rank our videos higher, but it also gauges for us what type of content the viewers like. Uh, th these are things that we're doing anyway, so we like to film them and share them with you. If you have suggestions, things you'd like to see, we'd love for you to comment below or send us an email.